Hi everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. I've got a really interesting scenario here that I think that you you can't you you could come across that I just want to show you how I quickly solved during a recent uh, member only event that we had. So we we had an event on oil and gas uh, analysis, right? And so what we've got here is a data set which is just production data in a certain area of the US. So we ran through a bit of an example of how you can analyze this information. Now, what we ran into though, and this is this can be really common, is that the dates were all different formats. And the main thing that I wanted to change here was that this is currently, um, I downloaded this data online, and this, this data is currently in US format. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to change it into um, New Zealand format or, um, or U UK format. And so uh, that's where you have the day, month, and then year. So currently here we've got month, year, uh, month, day, and year. Okay, so I want to show you how I solved it. There's, a, there's actually a few ways you can do this, but I think I've honestly found probably the one of the simplest ways that you can do this inside of the query editor. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replicate uh, what uh, what I did that time just to show you show you step by step how how I did it. So I'm just going to get rid of this and jump into the query editor, and I'm just going to do. I'm just going to create a brand new query. So I've got a bit of a setup here. This is a this was a full workshop based on a whole uh, a range of different uh, commodity related analysis that you could possibly do. Um, but this is just a breakout session. So I just want to break out a particular thing that we did, and really highlight it here. So um, it was a CSV file, and you might have this with CSV files, which are slightly different uh, to obviously your your Excel workbooks. So I'm going to bring this in. Okay, and this looks all good. And then I'm gonna just go okay. Okay, now what I've got here, right? You see here that this is a text. Um, this is a text column at the moment. And so what happens if I turn, if I try and turn this into a date? And I'm gonna add new step. It gives me these errors, right? So something is wrong with the data, and so I'm. Uh, so first of all, it's not it's not a date to begin with. Then when I try and turn it into a date, I get these errors, and then when I actually look at the data as well, I see that it's actually not formatted the way that I want. Now, how we can update this is using uh, a couple of steps here in the query editor, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to initially split the column by delimiter. And so I'm going to um, split it by the forward slash. So you see here that it actually pre-populates it for me. I'm going to split it at each occurrence. I'm going to go OK. Then I'm going to name these particular columns. Okay, so this one here is months, right? Or month. Month is fine. Then I've got day. And then here I've got year. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange it the, in, in the way that I want. So I'm going to put the day over here. Okay. Then I'm going to highlight all of these cells. Oh, not these cells, sorry, these columns. I'm going to highlight them all, right click, and I'm going to then select merge columns. Okay, so I'm going to go merge columns. Then I can go by a custom um, delimiter. And so I'm going to um, go forward slash, just like we had before. And I'm going to call this, um, I think it was like production dates or something like that. Production dates. And then go OK. OK, so now it's still text, but now if I turn it to a date, it now recognizes it as a proper date. So pretty cool, right? So this is just... Um, you know, I, I've seen this a few times on the Enterprise DNA forum. Like, how, how do you solve this? How do you how do you change it around? To me, this is a really and you know, we we obviously had to deal with something slightly different here, where we had an error that we had to deal with um, as well. And so, very simply, I was able to just run a few things in the query editor. I didn't need to write any fancy code. I didn't need to write any formulas like custom um, custom formulas in, in the query editor. 
all I could do was through point and click and um, making sure that I got them in the right order, I was able to rearrange things and get the proper date for me. And then now, uh, and this is what happened during the workshop, I was able to bring this through into my model, link it up to my, my date table here that I had. This is just a reduced date table. Um, obviously, you might have one that's a bit more detailed. You should have one that's more detailed, but this was a very long date table, so I just reduced it in the example. I was able to then link it to my date column here, um, as per I've got the I've got the final example here uh, I was able to link it link it to that and so really easy right okay so short and short, short and sweet today I don't want to um, have to go in too much more this is just a really good technique to sort this issue out you know I see it all the time so hopefully hopefully this is this can help you as well okay take care all the very best if you got something out of the video as always really appreciate a like uh, and don't don't forget to subscribe as well to to our YouTube channel. Great uh, great content coming out to you all the time. So look forward to getting that uh, getting that in front of you. Okay, all the best.